All right, so for today's review, we are going to be taking a look at my custom WSI Kenworth T800W tandem that was built by Custom Styrene. Um, this was originally going to be built for his collection. Uh, it was going to be his tandem truck. Uh, but then he asked if I'd like to buy it when I was at his house and jumped all over the opportunity to own it. Uh, so starting off the review here, um, the model does still have the same functionalities of the normal camera with T100. The hood does open. You see the nice Cummins engine. You see all the hoses and lines running to the radiator, uh, to your air cleaners and stuff as well. Um, it does close back up. Doors do open on here as well. Both sides do open. You got a very nice detailed interior. I uh, don't believe these seats have air ride suspension. I, uh, they do have a little bit of air ride suspension you can push down. Um, one thing to note is I do not have the mirrors installed on my model. Um, so getting back to the review here, as you can see here, the hubs on the front uh, rims are painted black, uh, which is nice. And you can also see that the tops of the air cleaners are painted black as well. And there's a little point at the top of the visor that is also painted black. Uh, as well uh, which adds a nice uh, touch kind of breaks up the chrome and adds to the black of the truck as well uh, you can see your horns and your running lights right here you got your marker lights and your clearance lights uh, you got your amber beacon right there uh, i believe this is a fuel tank off of a it's one of the uh sword peterbilt models i'm not sure if it's off the 357 or the 379 uh, you can see here chrome handrail uh, right there for the bed uh, you got some painted on lights on the body as well right there Coming to the back, uh, these axles are off of a Drake, I believe it's a C509, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they're like heavy axles, uh, so they're for like hauling uh, pretty heavy loads. Um, that's about as much as I know about those axles. Uh, you can see right here, there's a step right there. Uh, and then there's a nice chain holder right there as well. You got a nice little light painted on right there uh, as well. Uh, coming to the back. Uh, you can see he's got some, he built some poly fenders uh, right here uh, that go over the wheels, uh, which I really like a lot. Uh, you got some chrome mud flap hangers right there and right there. Uh, you can see you got your uh, reverse lights, your backing up lights, and your braking lights right there. If you weren't have, if you didn't have a trailer attached to the truck, uh, you got your standard sword fifth wheel right there, slides back and forth, as you can see right there. Mine's a little loose, doesn't have a spring in there, uh, but it does slide back and forth. Uh, and you can see that there is an LED light bar uh, right here. Uh, and then I'm not sure how well you can see this, but there are some painted lights right here and right here. Uh, some more running lights as well. Uh, and then get to this side of the model. Uh, you can see you got your fuel tank right there. You got your battery box cover right there. Uh, you do have a diamond plate texture up here, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then right here, uh, I'm not sure how well you can see this since it is black chains, but there is a chain holder right here. And I kind of... Um, I added some of the uh, little tiny chains that you get with the uh, sword chain sets. Uh, DHS still has them uh, for sale. These are the smallest ones. I just hooked them onto there uh, to make it look uh, like you have some chains for when you want to tie down a piece of equipment or anything like that. And then coming to this, coming to this side, as you can see right here, got your painted wheel hub right there as well. You got black on the air cleaner right there. Uh, but overall, that's really about going to do it for this uh, review of the model. Uh, it's a pretty cool little custom truck. Um, glad I have my hands on it. I am a huge fan of these uh, tandem trucks. Uh, as you can see, I have like, uh, I believe this is my fifth, fourth or fifth tandem truck. Uh, this one's a Kenworth, obviously. I prefer the tandem Kenworths over anything. Uh, I really do wish that um, WSI and Sword would have made some tandem trucks and changed things up a bit. Because um, they do look real nice hauling some trailers and... Uh, it's not just like a standard three axles, the three axle trucks that we've had for years. Um, but that's really about it for this review. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will have a link to uh, Custom Styrene's Facebook and Instagram in the description. So if you'd like to head over there uh, and check out his work, uh, feel free to. Uh, but that's going to do it for this review. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.